Okay, we're going outside of Word just a little bit. What I mean is that if you've ever scanned in a document and it turns into an image and you would like the text on that document so you don't have to retype in the text after you scanned it in, you convert that using Microsoft Office Document Imaging to extract the text from that scanned in document image. For example, on my desktop I have my business facts, which is a document that I scanned in, and you can just barely see it. It has the extension uh, .tif, a TIFF file, just means it's an image file. I'm going to right click on it and go to open with, and I want to open it with uh, Windows Photo Gallery so I can show you what the uh, image looks like. And I'll come down here at the bottom and click on the uh, magnifying glass and zoom in. And you can see it's a scanned in image of a document. Um, I can leave it like this, or if you have a lot of documents that you don't have to, after you scan in, you don't want to retype, but you want to use the text within it, you can convert that to text, and I'll show you how to do it. Let me close out of here. And there's a couple ways you can open up the program Microsoft Office Document Imaging. You can do one, click on the Start button here, the logo, and then just start typing it in. And then as you can see, as you start typing in and down at the bottom in the quick search field, it uh, tries to find the file folder or program that closely matches what you've typed in. And you can see it's the Microsoft Document Imaging. Or if you want to do it the long way, I'm going to close out of my search and then go to All Programs, come to Microsoft Office Tools. And you may have to scroll up or down depending on how many programs and files you have on the computer. So Microsoft Office to Microsoft Office Tools and then scroll down just a little bit you can see there it is Microsoft Office Document Imaging so I can click on that of course to me the quickest way of doing it was just typing it in in the quick search field and the uh, start button so once I have the program open I need to open up that image file that I saved to my desktop and I can do it one of two ways I can click on file to open or I can click on the actual open button here and then navigate to my desktop by clicking on the desktop button and then there's my business facts uh, the image so I can double click on the image and it can be any image that has text in it because what Microsoft is going to try to do here is it's going to say okay this resembles some sort of text and let me convert this so it's no longer an image it's actually text that you can select copy and paste into other documents so you don't have to retype it and you can edit the text with this here I can't edit the text See, I can click on it can't select it like I would in a Microsoft Word document so once I open it up within the uh, Microsoft uh, Office Document Imaging program, I'm going to have it now convert the text for me. Oh, and if you need to zoom in on your uh, document here, you can click on the plus sign to zoom in, or you can click on the uh, zoom arrow and say you just want the page width. Now to convert this text into uh, editable text instead of the image here, all I have to do is come up here in the Tools menu, go down to Send Text to Word, and then it's going to send all pages. And then what folder do you want to send it to. I can click on the browse button and say I want it on my desktop and click OK. So when I'm done I can go to my desktop and it should be converted um, this image into uh, Microsoft Word editable text. So I can click OK. It's going to say the office imaging must recognize the text in the document uh, before you can perform this operation. This may take a while. So if you have like 50 or uh, 60 pages, depending on your uh, computer speed, when you click OK it may take a while for it to recognize the text within the document. Once it's finished, it opens up Microsoft Word, and there's my text. Now, it may not be perfect. You may want to scan through this because Microsoft tries to understand or convert the image to the text as best it can. And you can see right here, soft whale sales. It's supposed to be software sales. So at the very least, the majority of the text looks pretty clean, but you may want to still come through here and make some changes, like with the L, and convert it to an R. And then it looks like we're also missing uh, an I in timing. And it looks like we're also missing... Uh, training TRA like I said you may have to do some cleanup but the good news is, is you don't have to retype the whole uh, document and then when you're done you can go ahead and click save now if you click save you see up at the top where it wants to save it as a .htm file that means it's a web page file if you don't want it as web page then click on your office logo button go you can click on save as or just go to save as a word document but if you click on save as I can at least say I want it to, I'm going to go to my desktop and change it from web page file to actually a Microsoft document file 2007 because you recall 2007 files has the uh, X at the end of the extension .doc and then go ahead and click save and I'm done so I can close out of that close out of the uh, Microsoft Office document imaging and I don't want to save it I'll close out and there's my business facts document I can double click on it it opens up. It also did something else. Remember how I didn't want to save it as a web page? Well it did it anyways. You can see it down here there's the .htm and there's the files within it because every web page that you have if there's any other text or images in there it dumps it into a file so the files in here when I double click on it are actually linked to the web page 
Like you said, if you don't want the web page, I'm going to click on the uh, folder here and control click so I can select both of these, the web page and its files contained within the web page and just hit the delete key and get rid of it. And I still have my um, converted text because I saved it as a document. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.